to use backup and restore click start type in backup and restore and you'll see it pop up at the top go ahead and click on it when it opens you will select create a system image and then in my case I have a USB hard drive plugged in and that's where I'm going to back up to but you could also save it to a network location or even to DVDs apparently and this is going to back up the entire hard drive which is the operating system and a recovery partition to the USB drive I have plugged in and now it's creating the backup this process actually took about 13 minutes but there's no reason you should have to sit through that so these are the highlights I don't want you to have to watch paint dry and so we condensed it down so here you want to I don't need to create a system repair disk but if you don't already have one you, ha you should create one because it's one of the methods of restoring your backup should your hard drive fail because this is what it looks like it creates this Windows image backup folder and then that's the name of my computer and in there is a folder called backup and you'll see how the files look it's not really a file level backup it's some Windows format and that's where that system repair disk comes in also you could use the Windows 7 CD and choose you know restore an image uh, through the menu there I don't remember the exact wording but anyway this is just one method of doing it there's other ways uh, but I hope you like the video like subscribe this is Tech Nuba Tech Nuba